So, what has Pravek been doing for the last nine years? So, it's uh, we've been trying to answer these questions or find a deviated way from around the current tra tra trajectory of the world into certain things and certain pillars that we hope uh, and we believe strongly are uh, going to be going to allow us to take back control not just as consumers but on a larger scale of course it multiplies so uh, let me start with what we are doing with batteries so we're going to go across three more things uh, uh, the pillars of how we are approaching this problem that's shares right there if you look at your side tables there are these cells uh, if you can pick them up and play with them. So these cells, they look similar to what we put in our remotes, etc. But these things are incredibly powerful. Uh, these things pack a lot of energy. You'll be surprised how much energy they pack in. So that's Shreyas. He has the best job in the company. Uh, he basically blows stuff up, he and his team. Anything that comes in, they blow it up till the limit of what they do. And what he's performing right now is a typical test that we have. Uh, and it, it kind of simulates a real world environment where you have an obstruction going into your battery or something. So what, what, what we are doing here is putting a nail, a steel nail, inside one of those cells. And that's the thermal feedback. So that's, that's one single cell, uh, the, the cell that you're holding right now. Uh, it goes up to beyond uh, 1600, 700 degrees Celsius. What we see here is, in fact, molten copper flying through. So it's it's pretty powerful. It's uh, it's excitingly powerful. Now what Shears has now is 500 of those cells in a module. Um, and remember, in a car like that, in a typical car like that, we have 10 of these. That means 5,000 of those cells. They're literally sitting on uh, on something with a lot of potential for explosion, unless controlled explosion. <laughs> So what Shreyas does now is have instilled complete faith in his roommates, uh, in his uh, colleagues. So what we, what he's trying to show here is the kind of stuff that we built into our batteries. How, how safe does this thing become? Remember, there was it was 1600 degrees Celsius uh, on the surface before. Now he's bare feet up there to kind of show you what our team has been doing. Yeah, we, the team has spent a lot of, uh, it's, it's really a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and uh, tears over the last few years, but uh, it's come out well, I would say. At least Shreya's feet say so. So, <laughs> so now, along with the incredible batteries that we have in terms of safety, uh, they're also technically pretty up there, I mean, if I say, say, say so myself. Uh, this is a number that basically translates into how much energy can you pack per kg, which means the lighter your car can be, the farther it can go, uh, the lesser consumption it will be. It's, it's kind of a, 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 a very direct relationship. Just to look at where we stand in the world today, these are, these are our third gen batteries. Uh, we'll be improving on them as, uh, as time goes on. This is the highest performance Tesla Model S, uh, which is around 160 watt hours per kg. And thereafter, we have the, the, the cascading sort of numbers of uh, the, the typical battery specific energies available today. So what this really allows us is to build very, very, very safe packs with extremely high energy densities that allow us to go much further than most other packs can. 